Hey, what's up guys? Got a little brief uh, how-to video for y'all today on how to rebuild a 2x2 two two plug valve. Uh, go ahead and get this started. Got some parts here. Uh, you got your sleeves, plug itself, indicator, retainer, the valve body itself, and uh, the bolts to hold it all together. We've also got a standard soft kit, uh, two seals, three O-rings, and a stick of lubricant. You're going to need a few tools to do this, a screwdriver, a ratchet and three-quarter socket, possibly a hammer, a valve bar. So uh, I'll go ahead and get started. Go ahead and put a glove on. So for purposes of the video, this valve has already been broken down. Uh, we'll take our soft kit. We got two small O-rings, two brass seals, a large O-ring. Take your retainer. Uh, take the large O-ring. Pop that in the groove on the outer edge of the retainer. It's the base of your plug valve. Set that off to the side. Take your sleeves. Stand that up for you. You're going to push the O-ring into the slot on the sleeves. Get that there. Uh, then you can go ahead and take a little bit of your grease. What you're going to want to do Cover that ring, fill any air pockets in it, cut it up real good. Also keeps it from falling out while you're waiting to put this sucker together. Those are done. Take your retainer and do the same thing. Over that O-ring, grease. Just get a nice good coating on it. <clears throat> Set all this crap off to the side. Take our plug. What you're gonna want to do? Is uh, well, let me back up here for just a second. You got your seals. Uh, remember, brass down, folks. Just take you some grease. Put a good, nice film. On these seals. Fill up the groove on the top of it. Just give it a good coating everywhere. Got one. It's going to go in the center of your retainer, seat it down, get it nice and good, go back on the inside, take some grease. On the inside of that seal there's metal. This is where your actual plug is going to sit. It goes down in here and you have metal parts on metal parts. I'm going to cover that with grease pretty good. You take your other seal, coat it just the same, give it a nice film, fill your groove. Give you a real good coating. This one's going to go in the base of the plug valve's body. Brass down. All right, so now you got all your seals and your O-rings put in. Then you can go ahead and step over here, take your plug, and you give it a good thin coating all the way around. 
whole surface of it. Just got a nice little slick coating on there. Then you come back, take you a little more grease. We're gonna do the top side of it. So nice good coating up here. And then come up here and do all the smaller pieces as well. This is that metal on metal I was just telling you about. Get a nice good coating up there. And you take your plug, little end down. It goes right in the center of your retainer. Push it down and seat it. All right, come back. Get you a pretty fair amount of grease. Um, in the top side of your retainer, after you've got your plug installed, there's a groove around the whole edge, the inside of the retainer. And go ahead and pack it full of grease as much as it takes. Get it nice and coated, filled up. Then we're gonna take our sleeves. You'll see they got a hole that matches your plug. Get it good and lined up. It goes at the base. This edge here goes in to a groove that's there at the base of your plug on top of the retainer. Get it set, fill on the inside. Make sure you're lined up with the hole in your plug. You do the same thing on the opposing side. Make sure it's lined up. You can grab it, squeeze it together. Check your alignment there. Now that we've got it all put together, see on the side of the sleeves, we've got some grooves right here. These grooves that are actually in the sleeves you don't want to put any grease in there if you do, not very much. Uh, try to keep them pretty clear. So what you're going to do now, uh, you'll see the slit on each side of the sleeves around the plug. You want to just take grease and fill those up real good. And we're going to take grease. We're going to go over the entire top of the sleeves now that they're installed. Just a nice slick coating. Fill up all your crevices here where the sleeves meet the retainer. Whole surface of that bad boy. There's another groove in between the sleeves. Coat it up real good. Fill up your grooves there at the base. All the way around. And then going to want to do take you some more grease and up here at the top you see that on the in between the sleeve and the plug itself there's a groove where they haven't quite seated and make sure that's filled while you fill it you're also going to want to stack the grease up you can see where the hexagonal end of the plug here meets the cylindrical part you're going to want to do is start at where the cylinder starts and go all the way down over there to the edge of your sleeves. Make the top of this baby conical. That gets you as much grease there in your rotating parts as you can possibly have without overfilling the valve's body. <clears throat> Don't have to be perfect or anything like that. Just as much grease as you can get up there. nice and stuck and then you'll take whatever you got left you can come over here to the body on the inside where your plugs actually gonna sit just take whatever you got in your hands and apply it to the sidewalls way it's nice and lubricated coat it up now you've got two guide pins 
inside your valve body that's going to go in these grooves. You want to make sure you don't cover those up with grease so that you can see them as you drop in your plug. So we've got all that set up. <laughs> Go ahead and give y'all a different view of that. There's your uh, plug. Here's your body. See on the inside there? Got a nice film of grease everywhere. We put our seal down there in the base. It's all greased up. And our alignment pins have not been covered in grease. So we can see them good. <coughs> all right, so right here is the uh, body. This two by two plug valve. We're gonna do, we're gonna take our plug, turn it upside down. You can see your alignment groove there. You can see your pins down in the body of the valve. I'm gonna drop it in real nice and easy. Make sure we got them lined up and then she'll seat in. Okay, you can see that it fell in all the way to the threads. <clears throat> take your bar, your hammer, or whatever you got. Go ahead and take your plug. At this point, you've aligned the plug. Your hole is open. Your valve is completely open. So you can go ahead and set that son of a bitch. Just push it all the way down in there. You'll see here, once I flip it over, that now the hexagonal top piece to our plug is out. So what we're gonna do, since we know it's open, we're gonna take our indicator top, Get our groove. Drop that baby on there. Turn as far as we can. Take our bolt. Our washers. Drop them back in the top of that plug there. If I can get it. Sorry, I'm not left handed. There she goes. So what you're going to do now is just turn that sucker all the way in there. And you start tightening her up. Now that you tighten her, just give her a snug. Ooh. Now she's closed. Snug her up. Flip her back over. Alright. Everything's good. Go ahead and take our retainer here. Get it turning into our valve body. We got the thread started. So at this point, you can turn it however you like. You can use your valve bar. Go ahead and set your retainer. Going to turn this bad boy until our threads are all the way inside the valve body. Set this down and get it done quicker. so it takes a little time. Should we get her set all the way in there? You'll feel it tighten up. Threads will be gone. There she is. I'm gonna turn her back over. 
Take our other half inch fine thread bolt, drop her down on the bottom of the plug. Thread her down in there. Just give her a snow. Take our valve bar. Give her a test run. Right. She's good to go. Guaranteed open. Guaranteed it's got plenty of grease. This valve's gonna do well for a while. That's the right way to do it, boys.